Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Superstar episode 19. Well, you, you, you get the idea. So, um, we're gonna be getting the rest of the treasures here in the castle today, and uh, we still got this gigantic gap of three treasures that we have still yet to find. That's really concerning. Pillage that castle! Find those treasures! Yeah, we'll uh, just go in here to this midway point, and we will <laughs> make our way back to the point where we died last time. And go from there and get all the rest of the treasures, and, uh, it's gonna be, uh, just... It's gonna be a shit show. Okay, anyway, uh, <clears throat> Well, no need to sell yourself short. I gotta see the shit show before I call it that. Oh, it's going to be a... a I'm just just gonna warn you ahead of time. Oh, if okay. You're, if you're expecting expert gameplay and uh, optimal precision, well, you're not gonna find it here. Well, I mean, that's why I come to your channel anyway, so if you're just false advertising, then I don't want it. For the best in sub-optimal! <laughs> come to UDJ. For the best subpar gameplay you've ever seen. The best in mediocrity. <laughs> oh, this is cool looking room. Yeah, the gimmick is is that there's a uh, very strong air current pushing you down in these narrow sections. Oh. So you gotta use these springs, and there's our chest up there, as you can see. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty easy. That nets us a treasure box. Very expensive one at that. Well, what's the treasure inside it? Or is it the uh, 100k just for the box? It's a box inside of a box. What's in the box? Well, it's another box. Well, that's when Kirby decides to close the box because he's seen this shit before. Oh. Alright, uh, there's two doors here. One to the left, one to the right. Hmm. There's one over here. So we'll go to the one on the left first. And I really like this room. Over here! What?! And there's a... a, uh... skull made of flames and lava. <laughs> because if you miss the door, well, you're just fucking dead. You wow. need a lifeless, son. Yeah. Wow! It's kind of mean-spirited, but I like the idea. Yeah, this whole castle is mean-spirited, okay? Because, uh... <laughs> the reason why you can skip this part so easily is because this is where a lot of the treasures are hidden. Not just there's like a lot of treasures, because there's a lot of treasures here, but they're, they're like the most hidden. Even the last area isn't uh, isn't this cryptic sometimes. So this door leads to the boss room, and well, I don't think we want to go in there just quite yet when there's still more room over here that we can't get to. So what we gotta do is we gotta, well, hang on. See, uh. Those blocks right there are a problem, and there's a bomb block here that can get us out there, but we have no way to break those currently. Because hmm. when we go underwater, we lose a lot of our powers. So that means we're going to have to go back, track, and get stone. There's nothing here that can help us. I mean, much as I love plasma, I mean, I guess we could take it for now, but... So it can only be stone? Oops. Can only be stone, as far as I know. Maybe hammer too. Because <laughs> uh, spaz out for I, a bit. I think a plasma would, would work against that, but no, of course not. So, uh, yeah, we got to backtrack. Well, I mean, come on, electricity doesn't work in water, and neither does plasma. Actually, shouldn't like the electricity work in all the water? I mean, it should, but it disperses too much. Check this out. Oh, whoa! That's some motherfucking skill right there. Oh, yeah. And somehow you fell on stone and got it. Or did you eat him? I didn't. It was too fast. It was too good. I, I ate him because I, I knew he was there. God, so, yeah, Kirby's gonna... a speed eater. So we're going to need stone in order to get to this next area. It's the only way. Come from up here and there. Well, that just seemed too simple. And I know. It's simple because we have what we need it. Oh. And then we got a really dickish area right here. Oh, are all the treasures hidden? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, now I see what you mean. Uh, yeah. There's no way to get up there. Damn. Uh... Look, you're making your friend spark, okay? You, you gotta get him out of there. He's getting restless. <laughs> The restless plasma buddy <laughs> just goes nuts. We're gonna soon find that the uh, helper AI is, at both times, rather smart and rather dumb. Well, hopefully he doesn't, like, kill himself or something. 
uh, let's just say he doesn't care much for his own health, his own safety. Ah, okay. More for mine, less for his. He is a servant. He has no uh, ambition of his own. Whoa, that's expensive. That's a gold crown. So, okay, <laughs> we're still on track, but we're still missing the three. Uh-huh. Damn. Well, uh, we're still we're still on track, so uh, I guess the only way is through. You gotta find the mystical, magical level zero. Something is missing here, and well, our plasma guy is dead. That's that's all right. Is it though? I mean, he's got a full life to live, and you just let him die. So uh, here's a dilemma: we need cutter, and then we need either hammer or stone to get to this next area. Hmm. So you need to have a buddy that has the other power you don't have right now. Yeah, I need to have a buddy who knows Cutter, and I need to have the Hammer or Stone ability myself, or vice versa, or have a second player help me. Either way, it's kind of convoluted to get up there, and it's a bit tricky, and let me tell you, it's very tricky. Both these doors lead to the same area, so that's a dead end right there. Interesting. So maybe, well, none of these guys, as far as I know, they have... The ability that, that can help us. I mean, there's a stone there, so if you got stone, that's good. But I need stone anyway to get here. What What would happen if you became stone and your partner was stone? Would your partner just go, MY BROTHER! <laughs> I'm sure it'd be fun to compare uh, stone abilities, though. Alright, what's through this door? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Rocky just plummeted. Oh, there's no saving the poor soul. Do you know what that just did? You're outside the castle. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the start. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because you know why? In this next room is Cutter. All right. Oh, cool. So we got what we need. We got Cutter. We got Stone. So now we get. Well, well let's try and keep Cutter here. So, uh, yeah, we got Cutter. We got Stone. Now we got to make our way back up to that part again, again. And, uh, see if we can't get those extra treasures that are waiting for us. I want all the treasures. In the meantime, I'm gonna hit the save point, hit the maximum tomato, and now we're ready to get back in there. So, I'm finding out a lot about different games that Sakurai has worked on, looking at all these other Kirby games, because, uh, uh -huh. in that save room, that's the all-star mode from Melee's music, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Same concept and everything. You have, like, a little safe room... They give you maximum tomatoes, or I think heart containers in that one. That's not the only bit of Smash Brothers familiarity you're going to find in this game. Well, I mean, it's... there's already plenty of treasures based on other Nintendo games, so... I mean, I... I mean, it's in Superstar, not just Great Game Offensive. Oh, okay. Ugh. Trust me. We're only, uh... This is like the halfway point of the game. The whole game. All of it. Everything. Oh. Wow. Kirby games are short. Well, uh, these are... Well, that's also I, because I, I'm, I I'm, 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 I'm quite good at them. No, and they've gotten... No, yeah. and they've gotten longer in recent years, too. Yeah, they have. They, they become, uh, oh, that was brief to... Nice, good, good, good conserva lengths. So now we've got an issue. <laughs> Rocky oh. doesn't mm. know that these blocks are needed by him. Which means that it's up to me to break the blocks uh, and, well, you I just see lost your cutter. Alright, well. You don't have the cutter ability. If you so need me, it's... I'll just be off in the background doing whatever I need to do until yeah. you get all your powers again. Uh, well, you know, fucking. That's some cool Kirby gameplay you got going on there. Is it really, man? I don't know, I haven't been paying. Oh, you died. At least I heard mm. that. There's an audio cue for that one. So, uh, let's try yes. this again. Let's All try right. this again. Let's try this again. Did I... I got my cutter ability, so that's good to go. Now let's make our way back in the castle and try this again. We'll speed it up a little bit because there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this episode alone. So this is really just saving time for you and for me. See, this is the real offensive part of the Great Cave Offensive. Uh -huh. How dare it's you? Great offensive castle. So we'll uh, make Sir Kibble appear. We'll get our stone ability. So now maybe I can open up the blocks 
and he can take care of the string or the platform that uh, blocks the way. There we go. That was just a mere copy, because Smear is a douchebag! I mean, do you know him personally to call him a douchebag? I've known him for uh, over 20 years, mate. Alright, so yeah, you can you can efficiently say that he is indeed a douchebag. Uh-huh. God, 20 God, years. This game, this game came out in 1996, so... Jeez. Yeah, yeah, it's about... It's about a little over 20 years by now. God, Kirby's old. See, Kirby both can make me feel old and young at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the power of nostalgia, right? Exactly. Like half that's... of your body's old and decrepit, and the other half is just all bright and cheery. It's like a weird version of Two-Face and Benjamin Button. <laughs> I'm aging backwards, Batman! Only half of me is aging backwards. <laughs> oh, that would be weird. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, my right side has arthritis. So luckily the AI knows that that's a thing you can cut. So oh, good. Good on you, Sir Kibble. I guess Rocky's uh, as dumb as rocks. So yeah, okay. Wow. So here we got the mirror ability. We're going to need to defend with the mirror again. Just kind of... What on earth? Let that happen. Oh. And that's, that's how you get the king's cape. Somehow so, more expensive than the crown, I think. I think the crown was a little bit more expensive, but I actually thought, I honestly thought you were going to go in there for a one-up. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be just shit? <laughs> but we did go all that way for that one sole treasure. And that's not the treasures we needed. No, they're not. It's oh, still man. out there. It is still out there, man. Is this something obvious that you're missing? Just tell me right now. We'll get there. Okay. I mean, I mean we are 100%ing this game. That is what's going to happen. Mm hmm. We're gonna. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. It makes me laugh every time. Kirby just, just going, oh no! It just comes out of nowhere. So <laughs> let's go back to backtrack in again. <laughs> You'll we never see it coming, Kirby. Fortunately, we don't need Stone and Cutter anymore. So uh, we can just make our way back. Let's, uh. Let's take out the boss. I think that's I think that's my next move. Oh, okay. That's, that's a, just uh, take out the boss because I think there's more to the castle after the boss. Oh, okay. Because other, because otherwise, what reason would there be to even beat the boss in the first place? So we'll make mirror. I I mean wing and we got plasma, so we're good to go. Okay, I hope for something cool. <laughs> like. Yeah, it's like ca Camellio or Camellia Armor or something like that. It's, <laughs> ukulele it's, it's a... is weird. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Yuka's dad! <laughs> it's Yuka's dad! Zuka. He's part of a notorious gang oh! that, that uh, terrorized well, ancient decrepit ruins and the little uh, pop star. Well, apparently that dad wasn't too good. You, you sang my... My chameleon offspring hangs out with a bat? That's weird. So we got two separate uh, towers, oh. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to get plasma, but that's alright. Oh, Kirby. Kissing in the dark. How could you? Oh, oh no. Uh, oh. We got Jet. Those cows hurt a lot, man. I'll tell you what. No kidding. Oh, I get it. You need fire to light the candles. I, I thought those were ice blocks, to be honest. <laughs> That's the thing. And you, you look at them, and then you put two and two together, and you go, oh, oh. maybe. Oh. And you went outside the castle. Uh, yep. Oh, there should be. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, you gotta be shitting me. Yes! Oh, you gotta be shitting oh, me! Oh, even better. Ah, great. Even ah, better. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Great time. All right. Uh, again, if if you need me, I'll just be uh, just be back here. Well, fortunately, the, uh, they dumped us right at the at the boss room. So. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so not too far. So I'm gonna grab plasma, just because I like having plasma. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel secure. It makes me feel strong. Like I'm a man. Like I got power. Like I got strength. <coughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Kirby's ultra powerful. I found out. Of course. More powerful than you know. So, can we just get a Nintendo crossover game 
that just has everybody and nobody believes in Kirby, but then he finds the strength within himself all along and he just obliterates all the bad guys. Should just be a, a beat em up with just Kirby against everyone in the Nintendo franchises. Exactly. Like, do you remember that really old video, Kronos vs. Everybody? Or uh, Chrono vs. Everybody, I think. It's a really familiar. old Newgrounds thing, I think. Uh, yeah, I knew, I knew it was from Newgrounds, but I don't think I've ever seen it myself. Oh, I might have to find a clip for you. Of course, then again, I think everyone's got that one sprite movie that they loved back when Newgrounds was in its heyday. Yeah. That, that uh, <laughs> uh, no one's ever heard of. It's like, yeah. hey, you're, you ever heard of Link's Quest for Ass? Uh, no. They never made a third one, and everyone hates the guy for it. What? <laughs> he, uh, All right. The guy left the second one in a cliffhanger, and, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I watch it again, it won't be that funny. I, I know, I know. There's a lot of things that I thought were hilarious back in the day. I watch it now, and I was like... Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's try not falling this time. Mm, there we go. That dumps us back into the cannon room. Oh. All right. Well, what's, where does this room take us? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> ah! Oh, God, I love the Great Cave Offensive. Uh. All right, so uh, we'll just... All right. Speed our so, way back there again. So what's the trick? What are we missing? Pro expert. We'll get there. We'll get there. Right now, we gotta get there. Okay. okay. One thing's for certain. We need fire. No. Okay. That just... I mean, that's just a thing that has to happen. Oh, uh, light the candles, and then what happens? Well... We'll see. Like that one. Ah. The thing is, they dim. Mm, Aha! There it is. Oh. I'm pretty oh! sure the. Yep. Uh huh. That's the sun ring. Wow, that's expensive. Praise the sun ring. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? What? What? When we get the sun ring, and this won't be as hard as the box art I had you do, but can you can you insert an audio clip clip of Mr. Dink going very expensive? Uh alright. Go for it. Very expensive. Sure, alright. Perfect. And that would do it for every single treasure. Go back and re-edit no! your videos. Why don't you kiss my ass and do it yourself? <laughs> Why don't you go back and censor every video you've ever made and every series you've ever done? <laughs> go ahead, do it. Uh, no. <laughs> of course, in a technicality, you play more kid-friendly games. I play all the adult games. Adult that it, games. That, that, it, that is true. I mean, uh, I think my average rating of ESRB oh. is E. Because I've got Mega Man Zero under my belt, uh, Wario Land, I've got uh, Mario RPG... And well, yet you're, you're technically having more this fun is... than me. This is bullshit. I, I know. I know. It's like it's a good game or some shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. So. Oh, okay. So you uh, gotta. Uh, there we nice. go. Nice. And. A model ship. Oh, very expensive. Very expensive. It's not expensive. <laughs> oh my god. So. Come on. I, th I think that was. I mean, they aren't even at the castle, are they? Let me check my notes, because, uh... No, it's okay, off, you died again, so yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm dead, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, that was the last treasure. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't at the castle, you missed three! So we missed three, so, uh... Oh here's my a, gosh. Here's a solution. Yes. Well, that's, well, that's definitely not it. <laughs> no, I think that works. That works for every occasion. So, we gotta go over to the right here. Head on up through all this shit. Do all that. Head on through here. And then, we gotta get hammer. We need hammer for this. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 
No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it, man. See? Look. Boom. Got it. Hammer's mine. All right. Now we got to make our way back to where we started. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, great. That's not going to go very well no, for me. Don't, and... don't, oh. don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh no! All right, so let's do that again. We gotta. Go. All right, I'm so, I'm so glad you. I am so glad you kept all this in. Oh, I knew there was. Uh, you had to suffer as much as I, like I, I was thinking. How do I make the? How do I make the audience suffer as much as I did, but also keep the pace of the of the episode going all right? <laughs> I'll just speed it up and record groanings for like 10 minutes or something like that. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, God. Keep in mind, this is uh, the last life, too, so. Uh, oh, good. Go we're going through another set of lives in this goddamn castle, trying to find those three goddamn treasures. The Great Cave Offensive, indeed. Luckily, there is food here. There's chicken up there, and there's a peach here, and more chicken down there. Mmm, peach chicken. I'm making out with a hot ninja, so... Look Wait, what? What? No, huh? shit, oh. I missed it! I looked away! Oh. You're making out with hot ninjas? So, uh... You're gonna kick yourself about as hard as I did. But... Is there one just sitting down here? This door, hiding all the way in the left corner, that I didn't even notice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So this will do what? Oh, there's a basement. Uh huh. Oh, so is this where the missing three treasures are? Uh huh. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So here we are in the, uh, I guess the basement, the boiler room of the castle, because do castles have boiler rooms? I don't know. None that I know of, at least. I mean, let me go visit my three castles. I'll let you know if they have boiler <laughs> rooms. So heading up top here takes us to, uh, What this is guy. that? Junk Kid, I think his name is. He, he knows Suplex. Oh. And it also gets us the turtle shell. Hey, I know that one. That's from Mario. Uh, excuse me, I believe it's from a Koopa from the uh, greatest franchise ever, Super Mario Brothers. You're full of shit. Uh, please get it right. Thank you. All please right. be respectful to my favorite video another game. Tre another treasure down here, but uh, that was a strong current kind of took us away from there. That's... Uh... Oops. Oh, I love that Kirby is his own ah! flotation device. <laughs> He's just bobbing in the water. Uh, 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 uh. Well, that'll work out. All right, so we got fire. I guess we can get the second treasure up here because that that uh, turtle shell was indeed one of the three missing treasures that we have. Really? Yep. So this is it. This is it. We're finally here. We're finally making progress. Yes. Yay. Who fucking raw? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm... I'm happy to. <laughs> ah, freshing dip in the boiler room. <laughs> Why is it boiling? <laughs> Kirby, no! Uh, Alright, so the AI uh, wants to blow on that fuse, but it's not at the right distance. There we go. It blows us over there. Where the treasure is, hey! A sword. A sword! Hurrah. Oh, is that it? Just a, just a sword? Yeah, just a sword. That's it. Okay. Just a sword. And one other little bonus thing. Ta-da. Oh, good. An insurance policy. All right. Now let's see if we can't get that other one. The last one to get. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Uh, so guess what? Come on! Uh, one more speed up! No! Here we go! We gotta go all the fucking way, no! back over here to the right. We gotta go get Hammer again. 
We gotta go back to the room, go back down the elevators, beat the other mini boss, and finally go all the way back around again. <laughs> Before we have another shot at this other treasure, and uh, one more little thing there. Uh, yeah, game over. So uh, let's try one more time. <laughs> Don't. Uh, you're gonna. All right, uh, you're, you're you're gonna be glad that this is the worst part of it. <laughs> We got we got one more section after this, and it isn't anywhere near as bad. This, this is the hardest part, and probably the hardest part of the game, I'd say. None of the rest of the game is this hard. Not even like the end, end, end thing. What uh, what rating did this have? E10. No, no, no. I mean like, like difficulty rating for Great Cave Offensive. Uh, four stars. Okay, that sounds about right. Okay. So we got one shot to do this. One shot, because I'm not doing this again. Okay. Mm go for it. Here we go. And... Well, well, hey, well. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, 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 you uh, cheating bitch. There we go. But you got it. The warrior shield. Ugh. <sighs> And that's it. That's all the treasures in the third one. We got them all! Finally. <sighs> now we can die. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. We can finally fuck off this castle and move on to the final part of the Great Cave Offensive. After a brief minecart section, of course. Sounds good to me. Yeah, nothing makes me feel better after a difficult thing than uh, running over a bunch of sleeping innocent animals with a minecart. Die! Yeah. All of you die! This is the garden area. Oh. Have a treasure! It's inside Wait, this big, gigantic, obvious hole. Ta da! Oh my god! Have winter time. The, uh, oh my last god! The seasonal hearts. I know, right? Yeah. Jeez. Oh. See, Kirby this enemies are so time. diverse. That was just an explosion of birds. <laughs> birds so, everywhere. So uh, this is probably the trickiest one in the game to get because you need to know of a little-known technique. Like I don't think I even knew about it. I was kind of confused at first. I don't think I ever got this as a kid. But uh, it's something about the jet ability and only the jet ability that you can get this treasure chest. As you can see, there is a section of wall we can we can access over here, but there is a strong wind current blowing us away. There is naturally oh. a chest down there, but even if we charge to the maximum from back there, we still can't seem to make our way over there. And we, when we drop down, we can only do that much, but that still doesn't do anything either. So, what do you do? I I don't know. I thought you had any ideas. No, well. I might, if I think about it for long enough. Ninja won't work, because you don't stand a chance against the wind. Wing, you think, might work, but the current is still too strong. So only jet will work. Hmm. Well, I think I just figured something out. I just had a breakthrough. While you're charging, if you jump, you can store it. Oh. So there could be, be kind of a way to store up your charge ability, and then you drop down, then, but you still gotta do it just right, <laughs> so even then, it's, you gotta be perfect with this uh, little known exploit. Ah. Alright, this one should do it. Third time's charm, and that's yes! it! And then you still can't get it because of the current. Another gun. <laughs> no! Another goddamn sword. It's like the fifth or sixth sword or whatever it feels like. <laughs> Here we are at the save cabin, finally. Ugh, it was a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Luckily, the rest of this isn't so bad. So, uh, it's nothing but smooth sailing and, uh, well, uh, calm skies and little turbulence. 
Jet puns. Heh. <laughs> Coming up on Great Cape Offensive. This is your co-pilot, Ultra Director Jester, and uh, I will see you next time. And uh, anything you want to add to the audience, uh, co-pilot Niskel? The plane's going down! No! Oh,